Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'll be talking about Sukuna and his battle against Yorozu. Basically I'll be analyzing the entire battle and sharing my thoughts and observations during the battle. I would like to start by saying that Yorozu is no easy opponent uh, as we have seen in the entire fight that she was able to hold her own against Sukuna and she did so quite well as she put up a really great fight against Sukuna. In chapter 217 we saw that they were fighting almost he uh, head equally. In chapter 218 we saw that Sukuna get the upper hand in the battle however Yorozu did manage to counter every moves of Sukuna and was able to handle the every uh, move that was sent against her quite well. Now Sukuna in his current form is extremely powerful as we have seen in his battle against Ryu that he was able to take him out with just a single move. And mind you Ryu is not an easy opponent as we have seen in his battle versus Yuta that they were almost fighting equally. So he is quite a strong opponent and to see such a strong opponent get uh, taken down so easily it kind of showcases how strong Sukuna is as a character. Now obviously Yuta is was not like taking uh, Ryu that seriously or rather I would say I won't say that he was not taking him seriously but rather uh, he was not aware of Ryu and he in the battle he analyzed Ryu and adapted to the battle however uh, in a battle against someone like Sukuna uh, Yuta would do quite well but let's put that aside and talk about the battle of Yorozu and Sukuna and understand his abilities. So we see that Sukuna makes use of Megumi's 10 shadows technique and he masters the technique throughout the battle. Earlier as we have learned from chapter 218 that he was using his cursed energy on the Shikigamis in order to change their shape in such a way that it avoided them from getting dispersed through a physical attack. Later on however he summoned the Shikigami in their original form in order for them to be more effective. We see two new Shikigamis, uh, Kangyu the bull and Madoka the deer. And I found Madoka the deer particularly interesting as it can be used to heal the user as well as negate all the cursed energy of the opponent. So that could be come in handy in his future battles. And although it seemed like chapter 218 was more of a troll battle but it, I think like in the future chapters we will see Sukuna get more serious and we might get to see his true abilities and the full extent of his power as the fans were eagerly waiting for. In chapter 218 we also see Sukuna make a uh, troll face which is very similar to Anya and Anya meme face is quite popular so maybe Gege could be uh, memeing us the fans that we have all been excited for Sukuna's ability and he just didn't show any of that and only trolled us. It can also be noted that Sukuna adapts to the battle very well and uses his intelligence to uh, put the situation in his uh, advantage as he uses the two Shikigamis to distract Yorozu while dropping the elephant on her to destroy her completely. And rabbit escape and the elephant are two of Megumi's abilities we have seen earlier but the effect of that we haven't seen it been used to this great of an extent. So. Uh, that's my analysis for today and I think there will be a part 2 when the future chapters are out. So hope you enjoy and do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts and what are your anal analysis of the battle and bye for today.